All right, we're making paid requests of 3D models to make on uh, through very poorly formatted Patreon because we are back in time in the operating system that won't shrink. We're in Windows XP. Look at this old boy. The device you're looking at was owned by every single human being on the planet who was born before 2001. That's exciting to me. As a masochistic person who wants to who wants to use really old programs to make 3D models instead of good programs on working functioning systems that actually let you shrink down tabs. SketchUp's a program that I know pretty well. I used to make uh, little shapes like this. Oh, okay. It might not look like much, but you could do a lot with this program. It was quite a bit more intuitive than most. So we're gonna be making some characters. I demand you draw something you really want to. Thank you, Kai. Who knows what your profile picture looks like? You could be a serial killer. I have no idea because I'm an old computer. What I want, Sonic the Hedgehog. That's all I want. Let's be honest. Are any of us really surprised? Besides, I need to get acquainted with this program. I need you viewers to get acquainted with this program. If you know how it works, then you'll feel more in tune with the parasocial type of type of thing we've got going here. All the people who are really worried about the authentic nostalgic experience. Yes, this basement does smell like must, asbestos, lead paint, all that good stuff. A little bit like feet. Don't, don't really like that one. So this will stick out. This is gonna be his mouth, kind of his nose area. Starting to come together a little bit. A lot of you guys are gonna be squeeing at this point. Just keep connecting the dots. It caters to those children who grew up on connect the dot programs and such things as that. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. You did it again. You keep doing it, why? So and these are like his eyebrows and they stick out a little bit. Come out of here. Get out of your shell. Live a little. That was one thing about Windows XP you really had to get used to is giving things emotional support. Because a lot of the time there wasn't any actual support you can give it. You're watching one of those loading screens trying to install your favorite PC game. You can't use computer wizard skills or actual math to like figure out if you have the right operating system or whatever it might be. You're operating on hopes, dreams, and emotions and all you have to do is be like, come on buddy, you can do it. No. No. <laughs> Let's do some coloring. How do we do coloring? Is coloring even a thing back in this day? Paint bucket. Hey, nice. It just takes a while for something like this to come together, you know? You think when they were trying to animate um, the Titanic that it wasn't a frustrating, annoying process? where Sonic's quills, you could not move them where you wanted to. No, I think not that. That's not what I think. What am I doing? No, for those wondering, I've not gotten bored of that and I won't get bored of that. There we go. That's him. You like him? Me neither. Ugly guy, get him out of here. What's next on the agenda? Kirby consuming cardboard cutouts shaped like cake. Huh. All right, we'll move over here. We're gonna get a little bit fancy with this one. We're gonna work with circles, something I, you know, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know, when I'm in SketchUp, I don't like to work with circles, but I think today is a, is a decent chance to explore our options in that regard. And it's also gonna be just an insane amount of detail. What do you just... Just wait, what, what, what is it that's going on here? I don't understand what's going on here. Arr, of SD viewers. It's me, Captain Gamerney, and I be here to tell ye about our video sponsor, Nixie, and their fresh line of wizard Nintendo Switch controllers. Hey, arr, arr, now in three swashbuckling colors, black, platinum, and purple. Behold what lies in this stylish treasure chest. Nixie Wizard controllers are themed after the Nintendo GameCube console controllers of yore. They're comfortable, stylish, and customizable with swappable joystick bezels for a classic or modern experience. Your choice, you mangy muskrat. But I've yet to let you in on the best kept secret in the seven seas. Nixie Wizard is equipped with some buckle bustling features. Hall effect joysticks that will never experience drift in our lifetime. Burst setting, turbo setting. Clicky triggers that function sharper than a, uh, than Poseidon's hook. Glowing face buttons, adjustable rumble levels, and so much more. That's everything a perilous pirate could ever want. Just ask the fiercest pirate known to the human race, me mate Ethan. I actually think they're awesome. I've been exclusively using these to play Nintendo Switch now instead of any other controllers, and I've been more than happy with it for 
variety of games, Smash Bros. I've been playing uh, through Jedi Knights 2, which was for the GameCube originally, and it works great for that too. So I actually really like them. They're seriously pretty great. Thank you very much for asking. Yeah, <laughs> very truly scary scallywag. So if you want the best Nintendo Switch controller to grace these horrid hands, check out Nixie's website today. It was in the description link below. Try out the Nixie Wizard. They are very epic. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd be in need of serious medical care for me. Yellow fever, malaria, gangrene, and even dysentery. Now we just keep doing this until we have a nice round circle. This was how Sakurai, back in 2001, designed the first Super Smash Brothers in Windows XP. Not an easy thing to do. Those of you who have tried to design Super Smash Brothers in Windows XP will know that. Sonic, can you move your stupid, big, stupid head? Making circles was very hard in this. I think the first cavemen made circles in Blender as opposed to SketchUp, so they had a little bit of a leg up in the matter. I don't even know where I connected that dot to. Sonic! <sighs> All right, we've traveled out of the Sonic Sea. Whoa, 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 easy there. Bugs fly. Huh? Huh? I mean, you did save. Holy ravioli, Mario. It saved, but not much of it. I should probably save my work once in a while. Oh, do I ever have a newfound respect for Shigeru Miyamoto. Imagine trying to do this like when they were developing N64 games during this time period, and like you had to use the N64 controller to do all this stuff. That would have been a nightmare. I can't believe he did those things for us. Okay, half of a Kirby. Uh, hot pink. Oh, that was a thing they invented in the early 2000s. I forgot. All right, we do have a good pink. I'm expect that. Ah. Ah. In between that, right in between it, somewhere, somewhere in between that. Thank you. I'll tell you what though, doing the stuff in Blender for Patreons has actually given me a new skill set that I've used in other avenues as well. I've made a couple of thumbnails doing the uh, doing the old Blender shin shin shin. Shindig. I'm sure this also, you know, the SketchUp skills will come quite a bit in handy as well. Two Kirby arms. Could make that one bigger. I could. I don't have the ability or the patience. My ancestors was George Washington, not Pharaoh Ardysseus, the patient from ancient Greek. I'm gonna open his mouth up here. By the time this program came out, they had figured out how to open mouths. I think it's looking pretty good, to be honest. Now I would be remiss if I didn't put some eye shines and take an insane amount of time to do so. I'm trying to deal with this crud. What is that? What kind of oh, what kind of texture is that? They're kind of there if you just look at it a certain way. Now I am so lazy. We're gonna do this to right here. There we go. There's a Kirby. Yay! And he's got like little rocket boots. Those are not other Kirby faces. Consuming cardboard cutouts shaped like cake. Wowie. Okay, let me go get some a picture of cake. Be right back. It would be really funny if I just came back with a picture of my own Gumpy. There he is. He is. That was him eating it. It went inside and he's like. Everything's killing me right now. That's the aesthetic of this time period as well. This monitor is killing my eyes, this is killing my insides, and my outsides are being killed by radon. Um, uh, we did a Wario, Baby Sonic from a Sonic movie. I, yeah, okay. Do one of those. There, he's a little baby Sonic, right? Now we just have to realistically give him, give him a little baby Sonic body. The other arm, pop it out. That. See, once you get fluent with it, it's actually kind of surprising that it took Pixar 50 years to make the original Toy Story. Because I just made a baby Sonic in like five seconds. Realistically, not that hard, guys. Get with the program. What next? What next? Draw the creature that skitters in the corner of your basement eating all your cardboard scraps. Uh, that. Oh, that will actually not be hard. Making Pikachu might be hard, but making square sponge Pikachu, that won't be bad. Just gotta work. 
He does have a few shapes. Uh, his tie, for instance. Like, like, bleh. yes, thank you. Cool. He's put on some weight, so there's a little more detail we have to do to accommodate for that. I don't want to inaccurately represent him. See, I'm learning ways to do this that's just so much easier and is gonna save me oodles of time. Oodles of it. I don't even think they invented oodles until like 2005. I do not want to accurate, 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 <laughs> accurately, <laughs> accurately represent him to some extent. So I'm gonna draw him as if he didn't have that hair coming out of his mouth because that's just a difficult thing to do in general. So we should be able to just color this thing, I suppose. He's got a point. Plagiarism is bad. Full transparency. I did not draw this image of the cake. I have not been recording either. Okay, we got the real footage back. I hope you guys enjoyed. My friend over here, backup camera, because I don't trust this computer not to explode at any second. And you gotta have backups on top of backups. Oh, one more, I'm gonna die. My feet are freezing, the ground is concrete. My lungs hurt, my back hurts, because I'm hunched over like this. Why am I hunched over like this? Mm. It's a time period aesthetic thing. Yes, mm. lots of requests. Oh, yes indeed, quiet, yes. Do the new Tatka Sexy Ganondorf. I can do... What? What? Ugh. Okay. You know, not the easiest thing to pull off in a program like this, but I'm up for the challenge. I've been a Gan of Fandendorf for a long time, and I want to <sighs> accurately represent him. Uh, I think he's kind of an angry-looking dude, like, I will kill the Legend of Zelda. So he's got some pecs he's been working on. They just kind of go to the side. Oh, he's not naked. Oh, censor that. He's got a nice pair of car hearts going. There he is. Honestly. Okay, if you told me that it was Ganon, I might be able to guess that then. See if we can't take a little screenshot here. What kind of tools do we have in the screenshot department? This is his desktop background. Yeah, whatever. But otherwise looks good. You got the Kirby's and the Sonic's and the Spider-Man. I want to play a bunch of old games. Sonic the freaking schoolhouse. Everyone loves that one. Everybody wants me to play Sonic the freaking schoolhouse. Oh, Sonic the freaking schoolhouse. I have a profile. I've been speedrunning the game lately in my free time. Oh, okay, but incredibly nice window we're playing in. Ah, one math, please. One, I find pig. Yeah, this is the 18th time I've played this for a video. Let me play something else. Dang, this is hype as a kid, if I were. Ah! Ah! Everything's a jump scare. When the Trade Federation Viceroy arrives, we must convince him to leave the system. Who are you? When the Trade Federation arrives. What if the room fills with poison gas? Oh, I just thought of that. The room is filling with poison gas. <laughs> No way, I should have warned him earlier. Oh, I'm playing the game? Solution to this problem is here somewhere. I know, but I just don't have enough mouse pad, you see. Star Wars. There's a lot of buttons in here, Master. I don't know which one I'm supposed to be pushing. Oh, Master. I don't remember that happening in the movie. Wait, like the whole level? I have a bad feeling. Do I get any health? Darth Vader! Oh man. They've got the droids. I'm going in. Next time I'm given special computer time, I will probably beat the game then, so that's that's fine for now. How to end video. I just don't want to touch you. Normally you're my go-to. I mean, I guess I could just stop my camera.